Hey, thanks for joining me for these DM tips for Spelljammer Academy Behold Hakatha. There will be spoilers here, so if you're a player, please play the adventure and come back afterward and let us know how it went. This is Chapter 4 of Spelljammer Academy, the free adventure you can get from D&D Beyond, and the characters should be Level 4 for this adventure. The authors are Gabrielle Harboe, Christopher Perkins, and Chris Tulak. And the adventure is two hours long. The pacing I used for this two hours, I did character intros in the first, part one, the spindle, and part two, the journey interrupted. And in the second hour, part three, homecoming and conclusion. And I added some difficulty here and some more combat to the adventure, and it went a little bit over two hours. I was playing at home, so no worries with that. If you'd like to adjust the pacing, you can do more or less interactions with the NPCs. You can add spectators, you can make the ogre a hill giant, and you can add shipmates and add Get the Yankee at the end. Music for this adventure. I used Astral Plane and Gravity and Orbital Prison Break and Busy Spaceport all by Tabletop Audio. There's Tabletop Audio's website. These are all built into Roll20, so if you have Roll20, you have that going for you. I used Astral Plane for the character intros and the journey interrupted, and I used Gravity for the spindle. And I used Orbital Prison Break for the Part 3 battles, and finally the Busy Spaceport for the conclusion. Now, let's take a look at the maps for this adventure. I made use of maps from Tessa, and here is uh, Tessa's Reddit page, reddit.com user Tessa Presents Maps. I'll put a link in the, token, in the uh, description below. And in the free content section, you'll find free content for Spelljammer Academy. And I plan to use Tessa's maps when I run Light of uh, Zarixis next. So back to the maps here. So I bring all maps onto one page and all art onto one page. Of course, I have Fog of War, so players don't see all this until I reveal it. But this is the map that came with the adventure, of course, of the Spelljammer Academy. And then we have the maps that Tessa has done for the adventure. And this one in the bottom left-hand corner might be for the previous adventure that I copied into this one. The first encounter is with the party flying to or arriving at Hakatha. Here's a good picture from the adventure of Hakatha. Hakatha is the last world in realm space. It's on the very periphery of realm space, so it takes some time to travel there. And then when the party arrives there, they search the spindle for a meteorite. And eventually they'll find that meteorite in some caverns within the spindle. And here's the meteorite here in this map. And in the adventure, there's just two specters and there are uh, four gazers, I believe. So I up that with one more. And I increase the ogre to a hill giant to make it more of a challenge. And then there's basically two groups, the hill giant and one specter versus the other two specters. I also like to throw in some more magic items than they have in a lot of these adventures. And for one of them, I had a rod that I had this specter in the bottom or in the left-hand side here. I have a broken eye stock and I had the rod being used as a splint for that specter. So the party can come and basically have one group played off against the other or get one group to go away. The giant can fall asleep, so in the end, the party can get down to where they're only fighting one specter, and it's two gazers, and if it wakes the giant, the giant when it wakes up. And that was a fun combat. The party did well on that one. Then the party begins their return, and during their return back to Spelljammer Academy, their journey's interrupted. And for that, I use the map of the Tyrant Ship. Tessa also has this map here, which has the asteroid field that the Tyrant Ship comes across and the Spelljammer that is hiding behind it. And I didn't want to give that away, so I didn't use this map. I use this one instead. The party is approached under cloaking by a Star Lancer being ridden by a Get the Yankee. Now this is a pretty easy fight for a party of fourth level characters and that's good. That gives it a little bit of counterpoint to the previous fight that I made real difficult. And also the intent is that the party can capture this Get the Yankee and if they're successful they can get some more information about what's happening, some more background for the adventure. As part of that background for the adventure they could find out that a Mercane is behind these attacks and as part of the knowledge, which I'll put in the link below, I had information about Mercanes for people who had Arcana skill. And at the start of the adventure, I had information about the Academy for characters that had the History skill. I'm going to copy these into the chat over here so you can see what that looks like when I whisper it to the players. And of course, that will be in the description below too. So after the journey interrupted, they can quiz the Get the Yankee and find out that the Get the Yankee are coming to get Milken, or Micken, I always say Milken. And so the next stage of the adventure, hopefully in hour two, is the homecoming. The party will get home safely. The day after they arrive, they'll be cleaning this hammerhead spell jamming ship. And these boarding party of GIF come on board. In the adventure, there's just two GIF, and I made it three. That's 
really strong. The party had a Twilight Cleric, which, you know, is a really strong uh, character build. So they did okay. Even with that, they nearly lost their lives to these GIF, but they were successful. And then I allowed them a short rest, even though time was pressing. It didn't take an hour. It was just the equivalent to a short rest. Before they rushed off to find the rest of the raiding party. And the rest of the raiding party is toward barracks, which are here in the middle. So here the party comes into this smoke-filled hall. And they see in the adventure two Githyanki, both wounded, carrying Mikan out of there. I made it three Githyanki, one of them not even wounded. And the party was able to handle that pretty well. And then I had the grenade that could roll out be right here. And the party was able to handle that. Wizpop never had to help, but I put him in this room here if he did need to help for the adventure. And when the party saves Mikan, actually my party wasn't able to, Mikan had his head cut off. So it was a dour end, but the party was rewarded nonetheless for repelling the uh, attack and preventing anyone else from getting hurt. And that came the end of Spelljammer Academy, where the party was told that they are have shore leave now, and the next adventure, Light of Zarexis. Look for some tips there soon. Uh, hit the like and subscribe if you could. And I will see you again for more spell jamming soon.